South Africa was founded by the Flemish and the Dutch in 1652 as a direct result of the end of the Thirty Year War in 1648, when the Pope decided to murder all the Protestants in Northern Europe, and also nearly did so. If not, the Dutch Flemish fleet hadn't sank them all, all the Spanish and Portuguese armadas full of Maya and Inca gold with which the Swiss mercenaries were supposed to be paid with. Therefore, the Swiss Knights Templars had founded a new branch of theirs called the Jesuits, who were allegedly assigned by the Pope to get rid of those heretic Protestants and their children once and for all. A military order with a governor general at its head, at the Pope's disposal, so to speak, who nearly, nearly exterminated all the Germans in a Swiss genocide on the Germans, who finally got saved, or rather what was left of them, by the Dutch Flemish fleet. So four years later, after the end of the Thirty Year War in 1648, so four years later, that's 1652, South Africa could be founded and taken over from the Portuguese, who had no more fleet, like Vasco da Gama, who had discovered Cape Town, Cape of Good Hope. But Octogon and the Knights Templars again used the Thirty Year War as an excuse for their ex eternal New World Order quest using both the Jesuit Templar branch to take over the Vatican and mobilizing the people, either Protestant or even Catholic, to wage war against the local old world order, vertical rule, feudal system. It's therefore this war took such a long time. And this time, one, the people, two, two-thirds of the German Old World Order aristocracy and three, the Vatican, paying the ultimate price. It is, therefore, that only two nations in the world have a square flag. Switzerland of the Knights Templars and the Vatican, becoming Swiss property through the Jesuits being a Knights Templar Trojan horse. In these turmoils, the persecuted Protestant French Huguenots fled for their lives to Eastern Prussia, founded by the Teutonic Knights, another Templar wing, and they fled to the most powerful seafaring state, as well as navy and merchant ships, the Union of the Seven Provinces, a Dutch-Flemish state. With the French New World Order revolution approaching in 1789, also amounts of the French Old World Order aristocracy started to disappear. To where, nobody knows. Well, let me tell you, they followed the same way the French Huguenots took not so long ago, just before. Now, these people were running for their lives with their children and just wanted to get off the radar and vanish. So, when they heard that the wealthy and powerful East Indies Company, or VOC, of the seven provinces were looking for farmers, or boars in Flemish, for a refill colony in Cape of Good Hope, to supply the sailors halfway on their journey to the East Indies with all they needed, like fresh vegetables against scorboot, rest, and loads of beer and wine for an off-duty week or even exchanging with a fresh, fresh crew for the rest of the long and deadly journey. These were two very different groups of French refugees who had already taken Dutch names and had learned Flemish and they didn't hesitate very long and escape to Cape of Good Hope, South Africa. One of those families was called saint croix rose du Plessis, and the reason that we kept the French language alive, but secretly in our family, for 350 years. Yes, 
No real Flemish or real Dutchman ever had any reason to leave his or her beloved lowlands. Never had any real tradition of immigration and settling down in other parts of the world either. And that's why South Africans are so very different in character from the Dutch and the Flemish. This is also why the Boers won all the battles during the Boer Wars, defeating a far greater and very experienced colonial British army by superb French aristocratic strategies and fearless and only God-fearing French Huguenots, who saw themselves in a biblical chapter against the imperial devils, the Red Jackets. The empire wanted our gold and diamonds we found. We said no. They sent a huge colonial army to rob us. We bought the latest Krupp cannons and the latest model Mauser rifle with which the Germans did two world wars and we beat the crap out of them. Our failure, mercy, probably also because of the biblical impact. So Lord Kitchener, Lord Winston Churchill and the leading aristocrats saw only one way to turn the tide. They ran away from the Boer commandos, made a huge circling movement not to attack the all-powerful Boer army in the back, but to get hold of the villages behind with the families. Then the proud British army built large concentration camps to put white, Christian, South African women and children in there and purposely starved 28,000 defenseless, mostly children, to death. So the Boer man had to surrender. If not, the glorious British army would have murdered the lot of them. And that was the end of it. Now, they even gave our South Africa to the line of black pharaohs, as Mandela comes from a line of Kosa kings. He was a lawyer, Knight of Malta, close friend of Queen Elizabeth and never did a single day in prison. In fact, because of the Kalahari Desert, there were hardly any Africans in South Africa except from some very few nomadic Bushman tribes, the Sun people, when those European refugees came. Okay, sorry, it's getting a bit long, so I'll cut it short now, because it was just the following I wanted to tell you. My apologies for the lack of images as I have no internet connection here in the mountains and can't get my video editor working anyway. As the saint croix rose du Plessis family left France in all secrecy 350 years ago, they used an internal secret code to communicate by writing or even scratch in on a wall or a cave. A cross for Saint Croix, meaning the Holy Cross in French. S O R, Sor, for Sar, the king. And part of the word rose turned around and a simple version of a rose. Also, because the Plessis or outside courtyard was mostly built using this form of a rose, also referring to the desert rose from what I've heard which is a red formation of desert sand formed by the wind and looking like a rose. This rose has the letter E encoded to add up to the word rose and with a simple extra line the cross becomes an H plus four S's in the rose. My name, Ross, was born out of the encoded version for Saint Croix Rose du Plessis. So here you see the, the E in the rose, here's the rose here, because, you know, they had to hide, you know. Sor, it means Sar, the king, and it's hidden. Saint Croix Rose, um, it becomes the cross here. So there's an E in it, and there is also four S's. Here one S, here's one, here's one, and there's one here. Uh, like this. And so the name S uh, was formed out of the rose and it became 
with an extra line here, it became Ross. And so here you can see Saint Croix Rose du Plessis. Saint Croix is the cross. Uh, Rose turned around, it became Sor, and here's the E in it for it says Rose altogether. And the Plessis, they were usually had this form here anyway. And so, well, that was it, you know. But I'm not one of them, only having their blood running through, them, through my veins, that's all. I have to tell you all this because they're destroying the entire world and they will wipe out humanity as in the Georgia Guidestones predicted. I want to set you free and see this as the only way to save the planet and avoid World War III. This is why the lion is the symbol for the aristocracy. Because a cat or a bastet for Pharaoh can be a very sweet and sociable animal and a ruthless killer predator at the same time. Like a well-mannered aristocrat being a cold-hearted natural-born killer the very next moment. An aristocrat, if you like. So, you see, it might be, you might call it a bit mean. You see all these cats here, they're not all here, but they're, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven cats. I think there are about 16 here, you know. And there's only one eating, you see. This is, this is why the aristocracy, you know, they want all the gold and the diamonds and they kill the South African children. And they want the opium of the Afghans and the oil of the Arabs. And there's only one of them is eating, you know. Only one. You might call it a bit mean, you know, but it's, it's not me that's evil. It's them showing their evilness. Okay, well, that's an animal. That's why normally I put all these plates here, you see? Many, 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 many plates. So they all get something. Now here's another one here. They're just waiting until, you know, the big male cat here. Well, he's not even the biggest one. <laughs> oh, it's a young male cat. Until he's finished. This is what an aristocrat is like. You know, the little one here trying. He's going to get hammered. Just before they were fighting, but I had a, I had a slow car that was by maybe like 10 megabytes per second. And if it gets dark, 10 megabytes per second, you can't videotape anymore. You need, a, you know, at least 30 me megabytes per second. I have 80 megabytes per second now in it. And when it gets like, like this, you know, it gets a bit dark. And, uh, you know, you, you can't videotape anymore. Hey, look, now they're all waiting, they're all frustrated. That's the way they all close their eyes, you know. You don't see me, I don't exist, you know. They're looking, is he going, is he going, you know. Now the little one is going. I don't know why the little one, you know. Gonna fight each other again, you know. This is... The aristocracy, folks. That's why they have the lion as their symbol. You know, they look very nice. You know, just like a, there's a lion in front of the castle. Okay. Not nothing is without a reason. So yeah, look, he hammers the little one. You know, we're gonna fight. That's that's like humanity as well. You know. Like a stalemate here. Instead of, you know, everybody sharing it, you know, everybody a little bit. Solidarity. No, 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 no. No. The aristocracy is the summit of uh, egoism. He's looking, he's going to try it. <laughs> I'm sorry for being so mean. You know, I, I, I know. I, I only do it for the video. Normally, I don't. Eh? So uh, let's get the, let's give them all their share, right? Eh? See, let's grab it now. Yeah, look. 
Want to give them all something. Oh, you stupid base. The nobility. I come on, get out. Come on. Don't try it. Hey. You a little bit. You a little bit. Hey. You a little bit. Oh, there you go. You a little bit. There you go. I'll give you some more. But this is a very shy one, you know, he only gets it on the table. It's a real aristocrat, you know, like sitting on top of the mountain in his castle, or her castle. Yeah, a little bit. Stupid. Stupid macho behavior. I, I might be a sexist, but I don't like machos. I, oh, I just whack them. Oh, Italian machos. Whack them, right? Yeah. yeah, a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Leave a little bit in the red one. Oh, I got some more air. Yeah, a little bit air. A little bit air. Oh, so you will get a share. You see? Now oh, there's peace, hey? So, this is why I'm telling you this all. This is how the world should be, you know? And not only a few wealthy families having it all, you know? We're destroying the world, and this is how it should be. This is how it should be. Everybody is fair share. Uh, not only the Muslims like making 12 children, it should be equally divided as well, you know? Uh, so there's enough for everyone. So, see you later, Ali Kat. What a nice pussy, eh? Yeah, oh. Another nice pussy there. You're that's so sweet. An aristocrat, eh? Oh, nice pussy, look at it. Where is it? Yo, nice pussy, so sweet, eh? Oh, you look so harmless. Huh? Say again. Hmm? Oh, look at it. So harmless, eh? A harmless Aristo cat. Oh, so sweet, eh? Meow, meow. Hmm? Only when you're hungry, eh? When you want the gold and the power. You're so sweet when you want something, eh? Like a politician. Oh, look at all the things I can do. Amazing, you know. Emil! Oh, so sweet. You must be hungry. Hey? Bastet. Bastet. Oh, they even fight with snakes. In the middle of the fight against a cobra or something, you know, they go and wash themselves or just look around, you know, the complete master of it all. And a big scala, a big scala of, you know, from two extremes, you know, being nice and gentle and well mannered, and then all of a sudden, whang, you know, becomes a ferocious cold. Killer, natural born killers. Yeah, what you want to say, hey? Meow, meow. Hmm? Meow, meow. Oh, look how nice, look. Getting my attention. Oh, look. Huh? Don't fall down, you know? Oh, look at that. Hmm? Meow, meow. Oh, how nice. And that one that's so cute, a little one. Oh, you know, they almost need help. You know, like the one they're doing, like, you know, they need help. Like a poor aristocrat, you know, aristocrat. <laughs> almost getting mixed up here. Well, it's the same thing, an aristocrat or an aristocrat. They're always being showed, like, you know, now in the, in the 21st century, in the 20th century. They can't pay their castles anymore. They show this all over the world. They're so poor, they can't 
pay their castles anymore and they have to renovate it. You know, and it's all falling apart. You know, they can't renovate. Where is it again? Oh, my castle. I had such a good time here. Raped so many women. You know, the use prime noxus and I can't repair it. I don't have the money. Oh, we poor ones. You know, like a poor pussy cat. Hey? Meow, meow. Hey, poor pussy cat. Oh, look, he's washing himself. And look how charming, you know, how charming they smile, you know, Prince Harry. And Prince William, oh, beautiful, and the teeth they're having, yo, they're shining and all that, you know. But wait a minute, eh? Prince Harry, didn't he kill loads of Afghani children in Afghanistan with his Apache chopper, didn't he? And the other one as well, Prince William, you know, he did the same. But, uh, well, never mind, you know, we didn't see it happening, you know, but we can see them smiling, you know. Or are they just, like they say in Texas, smiling through their teeth? Probably, eh? Like, like this one here. Say it again. Go smile through your teeth. Come on. Eh? Oh, it's getting stormy. Oh, look, they're going to fight. Look, they're playing. Oh, nice. They're playing here. Look, where is he? Can't even see it anymore. Just hiding. Oh, gone. What happened? So, uh, no. They're so proud of it, you know, Prince Harry even went into an SS uniform, you know, it's all the same. And, oh, but they're so beautiful and smiling, you know, and they've got this whole magic around it, you know, by mobilizing the demons. And we believe it, eh? The Aristocats. <laughs> Actually, they're only so cute if they're hungry, you know. Like a hungry aristocrat, arist uh, you know, aristocrat. Sorry, did it again. You know, who wants the gold and kills the children, starving to death in South Africa, white Christian children. Then they're cute, you know. They're so cute. Then the aristocrats, uh, aristocrats. Oh, I'm I'm completely mixed up now, eh? Bastet, so I just say Bastet. Let's stick to the pharaohs where it all began, eh? Oh, oh they're so cute. Look, they're playing. They want my attention. Look, they're hungry. Oh, you poor thing. Are you hungry? Say it again. Meow. Hey. Oh. Oh. Oh, you need my help, eh? Oh. You can't get down alone, eh? Oh. You poor aristocrat. Huh? Oh, you poor thing. Oh, really? Especially women, they, they fall into the trick, eh? A man is more like, oh, you know, I want my pit bull or whatever, you know? Uh, it's more straight. A dog is more straight, but well, boring anyway. Um, so, you know, so I'll piss off now. I'll give you later. I'll give them a look at all the all the things here. I, I get, every every one of them has to needs to have his own plate. You know, I got it from the meat. Otherwise, they you know they they scratch each other. And, oh look at it, so sweet. Oh look at it, that's a sweet little pussy. Oh so sweet. Well, okay, piss off now. Go and go play at the church, hey. Say hello to the Pope, he's one of them. He's, he's one of you, isn't he? 
They're the second, third, and fourth sons of the aristocracy. Yeah. These are pedophiles. They're all pedophiles. Yeah, go play at the church. Oh, an elf? Oh, really? Oh, my. Especially the women, they fall into the trick, you know, because it reminds me, it reminds me of a baby. You know, the sound and all that. They can imitate the sound of a baby. Oh, look, look, now it's, you know, the real aristocrats coming out. Aristocrat. And um, the aristocracy, our masters, have done the same trick, you know. They provide everything for the woman. A nest of warmth, enough to eat. Yeah, you can see all my plates there, enough to eat, the meat. And uh, so then they, they swallow down the, the, the total control and the complete dictatorship. And as I'm no more real man, the men are just following the women, you know, because they want something or because, you know, whatever. And um, oh, isn't he so sweet? So, you know, everybody is accepting the total dictatorship. We have more, the tendency is, we have more and more comfort and less and less freedom. This is how they do it. You know, they, and they, they know us much better than we know ourselves. And this, and they, oh, and these nice creatures, they know this too, you know, sound like a baby, you know, and look like a baby and... Uh, the women like that, you know. Oh, it's so sweet. Well, I tell you, when he's when he has been eating, he, after eating, he's not like that anymore. <laughs> uh, hey. But they're beautiful creatures, though. Fascinating. Just like Prince Harry and Prince William, natural-born killers. Like these ones here. Go hunting, you know, kill the fox. Or hunt down some Afghans without defense, you know. Stone Age people. Just hunt them down. It's all in the game, isn't it? It's good old sport. A sport. It's a good old sport. Hunting is hunting. Never mind if it's a fox or an Afghani, or an Arab, a Muslim, white South African children. Good old sport, hey? Just whack them all. The aristocrats. Hey, listen, it's getting wild. I hear the bags, you know, listen. They're getting wild. So don't worry, women. Hey? Well, this is the real... <laughs> The essence of the Adam and Eve story. It, it really is. So don't worry, you know. Don't mind my sexist words. Yes, I'm a sexist. What's wrong with that? Listen to them. It's like the wolves are howling here. Look, there, there they are. Look at that. If I open the door, they get completely wild, you know. Look. So, what's the noise about, eh? What, what's the noise about? Look, what are you getting in there? Oh really? It already sounds a bit different, can you hear that? No. So don't worry women, look at all the plates. I give them food, everyone his own plate, you know? I already emptied three bags here, big bags, eh? this, is, this is five kilos, look at it. Yeah. I'll feed your babies, look, another one here. I already emptied three more, little ones actually, three more. So I pay my taxes, you see. I, you see, Aristo, what is it now? Um, cret or cat? No, Aristo cat. I pay my taxes. Don't kill me. Don't put me in prison. I pay my taxes. I told you. No, don't don't get don't get angry now. I I paid my taxes. Look. Here it is, here's the proof, here's the receipt. I kept the receipt, one bag, two bag, three bags. You know, in French too, they got the word for an aristo uh, cat. yeah. Uh, they call it a pacha, 
a pasha, you know, it's a sultan. A shah, it's a cat, a pasha. You know, if I close the door, they, you know, they're ready to fight each other. You know, from a perfect gentleman, like before, you know, they get like a natural born killer from one instant to the other. You know, and this is why the royalty, the the pharaohs have bastards and the aristocracy have their lion as their symbol because a perfect gentleman like Prince William or Prince Harry completely uh, radiating smile you know really shining smile you know you could do a, a toothpaste publicity on that you know uh, from one instant to the other, you know, they can they can be natural born killers and just wipe out an entire village in Afghanistan or an entire foxhole with the little babies and all. You know, women don't see it, they only see the smile, you know, just like with the cat. Hey, look at that. But I'm, um, you know, uh, don't worry, women. Don't mind my don't judge me upon my sexist words. Um, I say this actually because of the good women out there. You know, a, a man who is sexist, he is so, and he's, you know, because he wants to defend the good women. You see, sexism is about defending. Oh, where are you going to? Sexism is about defending the good women. You know, and a sexist guy. He won't allow them to get burned at the stakes, but the women don't see that, you know. The, you know, the, this is the story about the devil and the Satan and the snake and Adam and Eve. Women judge a man by if he's nice, you know, has a nice Prince William smile. You know, then he's good. Somebody who's good, you know, somebody who's nice, that's somebody who's good. Well, let me tell you, I've met people in my life who've been very very evil but they were so nice and you know and 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 well mannered like the swiss and also met you know very rude people you know who talked real straightforward and they're really hard you know but they were, they had they had really good hearts they were really good people and, you know the man used to understand this not anymore you know the bunch of homos nowadays they're even proud of it and but the women they really have this prejudice like judging somebody if he's nice or not oh he's so nice that's a good one you know well I'm not nice so I don't want to be nice you know but I have a good heart I feel them I feed them right okay now I'm gonna have my coffee burn the coffee I'm gonna burn me coffee now eh? you have to wait a little bit more See you later, Ali, um, Ali Cat. Uh, how was it again? A Aristogator. No, oh, I forgot it. Um, in a wild crocodile, it was, eh? Yeah. Okay, why not coconut? Okay, there I am again. Bushy Cat. Ali Cat or Ali Gator later um, yeah you know a, a Muslim guy you know talking about Muslims again a Muslim guy would probably die to defend his daughters and his wife you know he'll die for it because he's a sexist yeah a Western guy you say well I want to live you know but so okay well if you want to burn them at the stakes well go ahead you know but um, I want to live I have my I want to have my pint later on you know and uh, because they're not sexist. Yeah. It's a difference. Eh? Well, I'm not into, you know, like cutting my willy and all that. That's not a good thing. Eh? And, uh, and I think fermentation is, uh, is a God's gift. Eh? Have, a, have a nice little beer, make you happy. You know, forget about the misery. Eh? Shall we forget about the misery then and feed you? Eh? Feed you all. Look at that one there. Uh, isn't he gorgeous? Or is he? How do you, isn't he gorgeous? Oh, no. Oh, I can't even see it any longer.
Well, anyway, somewhere up there. There's a problem with these LCD screens and there's some sun on it. Now, well, when the Aristocats came, the Alley Cats and the Alley, Alley, yeah. Uh, the French probably made a deal, you know. Uh, the Muslims that would have defended their daughters with their lives. But the French probably made a deal and said, like, okay, you can take the you can take the ugly ones only and burn them at the stakes. Whereas the Swiss said, you take the rich ones only 